yeah. is Islam more violent than any other faith? Uh, I believe that there are certain areas in Islam that needs to be reinterpreted. Uh, otherwise, we, you will face violence at the end. Other religions have probably some texts that may lead to violence, if you understood it literally. However, many of these religions have reformed already. Islam has not reformed yet. And the same anachronistic, old-fashioned ways of teaching are still today so valid. And the, Is that and a yes or a no? Is it more violent? Uh, I, I believe with the literal understanding of it, 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 it and with its history as written in Sharia books, today it is more violent. Tom Fuentes. Yes, it must be. Otherwise, how could all these groups take the name of Islam to become violent and, and do what they do? They're the ones that call themselves Islamists. They're the ones, you know, ISIS calling themselves the Islamic State. We didn't pin that name on them. We didn't say you're the non-Christian, you're the non-Jewish, the non-Buddhist, the non-Hindu, the non-Sikh. They said we're the Islamic State. So they're interpreting uh, the, belief, the teachings of the Prophet, the, the uh, teachings of the Quran, and they're twisting it. They're putting it on it. But the, the fundamental basis is that they're calling themselves Islam and then cutting people's heads what? off. Go ahead, Mr. Wait, Don, uh, first of all, I find it absolutely astounding that a former assistant director of the FBI would say that Islam is a more violent religion than most other religions. If you look at the Lord's Resistance Army and Joseph Kony that was made famous in the Kony 2012 campaign, that is a Christianist organization. You look at... Uh, you look at Christian uh, extremist organizations here in the United States that have bombed gay nightclubs and abortion nightclub uh, abortion clinics in the name of Christendom, but every mainstream Christian knows that these are completely outside of the, any but normative by saying, understanding. But by saying, uh, when, let me jump hold in. On, by hold, saying hold, that hold. Islam is more violent than any other religion, it doesn't mean that other religions aren't violent. We're talking about history and the reality. If you're looking at the bombing of abortion clinics, you're not looking at the numbers of a 9/11. You're not looking at the numbers of a Boko Haram. You're not looking at the many people who are killed from ISIS and, and, and beheaded. People don't go into abortion clinics. Yes, death, death is death. But Don, people don't go Don, into abortion um, clinics and behead okay, people. Don, oh, listen, what he's saying is look true, at, Don. Look, those, go ahead, look Tom. At, look what he's saying is basically at, true. There was this level of violence in the other religions. The, the ancient Israelites did similar things in towns and, and killed everybody, men, women, and children in a town thousands of years ago. The, the Catholics, you know, there were Catholic priests that accompanied the conquistadors on the ships back in the day when well, they landed in Mexico modern, and landed we're in South America. We're talking about modern times And now. they committed the Spanish Inquisition. That's what I'm trying to say. So major religions have had that period of time where they were as violent and, and frankly, as horrible as could be to try to convert people to their teachings. And if they didn't get converted by hearts and flowers, they were killed or, or uh, convinced by persuasion and violence to do it. So... What I'm trying to say is that, yes, in the modern era here and now, those other religions have kind of moved on past that being their normal yeah. method of operating to convert people to believe their belief. These people like ISIS, al-Baghdadi, is basically saying to moderate Sunnis, any Shia, any Yazidi, any Christian, anybody, I'm going to kill all of you. Mm -hmm. You need to convert yeah, and so to you're believe gonna, you're, you're gonna you're going to you're, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna take what one knucklehead says out of 1.6 billion of us. I mean, if you look at the Oklahoma City bombing, Timothy McVeigh's co-conspirator Terry Nichols was a self-professed member of the Christian Identity Movement, which Syracuse University has found has over 250,000 followers here in the United States. I mean, it, it is absolutely astonishing that, it, that people are going to be so reductive and take isolated fringe extremists and, and, and you know, extrapolate that to a religion of over one billion people. I mean, this, this right, goes into the whole the narrative. You're saying this, that this, these groups listen, are so Listen, 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 Tom. On every listen, President George, listen, President George W. Bush, after 9-11, said that the United States is not at war with Islam. Um, President Barack Obama has said the same thing. But everything that is being said tonight feeds directly into this clash of civilizations mantra where it's the West against Islam. And, you know, for the 7 million American Muslims that live in the United States today, myself included, you know, you, you tend to forget that three out of the last 10 Nobel Peace Prize winners were Muslims. 